there were so many people in there that were so heavily impacted by what happened. Every time a door opened, we were all, <gasps> you know, like I felt that tension and I felt everyone's eyes go to the door immediately. The first victim will be publicly identified, Ms. Kyle Stevens. Good morning. Up until this point, I've been known as victim ZA, or family friend. I was the first to testify in this case, and wary of the attention that could come with that, I asked for complete anonymity. I'm addressing you publicly today as a final step and statement to myself that I have nothing to be ashamed of. My parents have become close friends with Larry and his wife, Stephanie. It was during this time, I estimate I was approximately six years old, that Larry Nassar began to sexually abuse me. He first exposed his penis to me in a dark boiler room in the basement of his home. He told me, if you ever want to see it, all you have to do is ask. Let me remind you of the interests of a six-year-old girl. My favorite TV show was Clifford the Big Red Dog, and my favorite book was Junie B. Jones. I could not do a multiplication problem and still had not lost all my baby teeth. Someone of this maturity level should not be sexually active, but I was. Without my knowledge or consent, I had engaged in my first sexual experience by kindergarten and had progressed from exposure to masturbating in front of me while playing hide and go seek, rubbing his bare penis on my bare feet and penetrating my vagina with his fingers. It took a friend confining the details of her sexual abuse for me to realize that something was wrong. I was 12 years old when I told my parents when Larry rubs my feet, he uses his penis. My parents confronted him and he denied any such action. Due to complex details that I won't get into here, my parents chose to believe Larry Nassar over me. I spent the years between 12 and 18 avoiding and detaching from my family. To my father, someone who makes such heinous false accusations is the worst type of person. His belief that I had lied seeped into the foundation of our relationship. Every time we got into a fight, he would tell me, you need to apologize to Larry. It wasn't until I was about to leave for college that I took another chance at clearing my name. Larry Nassar's actions had already caused me significant anguish, but I hurt worse as I watched my father realize what he had put me through. My father and I did our best to patch up our tattered relationship before he committed suicide in 2016. It was very painful. You could see it in their face. People were shaking, crying just at the sight of Nasser. I thought that training for the Olympics would be the hardest thing that I would ever have to do. But in fact, the hardest thing I've ever had to do is process that I'm a victim of Larry Nasser. As I listened, I started getting angry, which I didn't want to get angry. 